Uh, right where we are, it's uh, this is Ghana, and the place is called Hobby Farm in Akusi. Uh, is it the right place? Yeah. yeah, so it is Akusi. Remember, guys, as here, when we are starting here, we had a lot of challenges on the way, but um, we were able to sort it out. Those that saw our video at the first time, right now they can as well see it and understand that there is a lot of improvement. There's a lot of challenges. I've said it when you're starting good farming, do the benchmarking. Then finally, you'll have it much, much better. So where we add this video, um, the reason why we are putting it up, we wanted to introduce this man. Uh, Joe, uh, he's called Horns. I, I don't know whether it's uh, one horn or the uh, or horn. So he will talk about himself, but he's a very big person in the line of breeding in South Africa. I'm telling you the truth. You very well know this tall man always who is dwarfing me off. Uh, whenever he stands with me, I'm shorter. I become a local and he becomes a hybrid. But what about so, when you stand with Mr. Hans? It's also another problem now. I have two problems now. So basically, um, George, uh, me, Hamis, and Hans, but there is also other partners that you saw. We are driving this at a high rate. And uh, the people you see uh, holding their animals, they traveled from uh, uh, Nigeria. Uh, they were seeing what I was telling them, that guys, we have brought animals close to your country. West Africa, I told you that you're sorted. This is what we said. We are going to interview them because our intention was, don't pay us money. Come and pick the animal. The only thing that we need, we need your presence or you, we need your confidence that we are going to give you what exactly you want. So here we are. I'll give you, uh, George, just to talk briefly. We want to keep this video short. And um, we wanted also to give confidence to other countries around us in West Africa that if we say something, we mean it. So George is going to greet you and just give you a slight word. Then also Hans, I'll give him an opportunity to greet you and give you just a slight word. Finally, we shall have um, a good interview. We need a lot of words from him. We need a lot of words from him and the experience. So basically, that's, we shall also have an interview of these guys. Uh, they will tell us the experience because, you know, we've been going through a training here in Akusi. George. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Um, good morning to your viewers. Yes. As we've always been saying, this uh, hobby farms is a breeding ground. And also, we bring in animals for our other uh, would-be uh, farmers or even farmers who need support and good genetics. I believe that we've been talking, and for the, this is not the first time we've actually sent um, animals to um, Nigeria. I think the last consignment that came, we sent about 15 or 20 to Nigeria. And funny enough, just beginning of the week, I got videos of one of them that had catered to. And the buyer was surprised. And I told him when he came and he chose those animals, I told him most of them were pregnant. But he didn't he didn't believe believe it. But now when he sent me the video, he said Thank you. This is what he's been waiting for. Did you for. collect an, uh, money from these guys? No, he only paid for the animal. Because so, what I try to do most of the time with my breeders, uh, Mr. Hans specifically, is that um, I tell him any animal that comes to me, has to be, uh, uh, the female ones, has to be pregnant. Because it's an addition uh, service I want to give to my customers. And you can see... They will tell their own story, yeah. but I can say on authority that I had not met them anywhere before. They saw the boot camp that we are organizing, we started yesterday, and they decided to come all the way from Nigeria. Wow. And when they came and yeah. they saw things themselves, yeah. as to whether they had planned to take animals back or not, they will have to tell you. Wow. But wow. when they saw one, the genetics, the quality of the animals. I think they were blown away. But I will reserve that for them to speak to. To also say. Thank story. you so much, George. I can't thank you enough. And uh, you gave us a lot of food. You gave us the training. We love the heart. Hans, 
or horn or one or two or everything. I, I hate you because you doff me up when we talk about of breeding and I become inferior. I think we have to so, clone him. Uh, we should grow. Uh, okay, we shall talk about it. <laughs> so, horns uh, talk to my people. Um, um, this collaboration and the hub that we've set up, what do you have to say about these animals? I'm quite sure that when we see Kalahari, we're talking about that one horn called him. Two horns. So tell us uh, your experience with us and uh, about our collaboration and the hub that we have and the training that we are going through at Fisher Examination. I think I miss uh, Mr. White. Yeah, thank you uh, for the privilege to being here. Um, you know, and, and, um, and also the, the privilege to, to do the business with you. You know, we've created a, well, I call it, uh, we have started the, the Renaissance of Africa. I think this is, this is what we can call it. Because yes. we really want to make a difference in, um, in African countries, especially welcome and uh, privileged to meet you guys from Nigeria. As clients from us, you, you know, you guys are pioneers. It's, uh, as all of us is, is trying to, to make a difference, a positive difference in Africa. We want to uh, genetic empower people. And the way, you know, good business is existing business. So all we want to do is to help you people, supply you with the necessary knowledge, supply you with the genetics. And this is what we've uh, created, uh, me and Mr. White together with you, Amish, is uh, to have that value chain to supply the animals, breed the animals in South Africa, uh, export quality animals that you can see here, that's been inspected and approved, to, uh, to Ghana, to Nigeria, Uganda. All the, well, um, as a matter of fact, I'm exporting all over the world, wow. but this is a privilege for me to be part of this, uh, and, and really we're going to make a difference here. Wow. And, um, and as we speak, I'm privileged to be the, the founder of the Kalahari breed, uh, gave the breed its name, registered as a breed in 1998, and uh, as also busy now with the registration of the blackberry. Uh, we also farm with the boar goats, dorpers, white dorpers, uh, meat masters. And, uh, you know, we are planning on doing the whole supply chain towards you guys regarding medicine. Um, uh, all the knowledge that uh, we're gonna, we created the hub here with Mr. White. So all of this services and products will be available here for, for everybody's uh, use wow. and knowledge. Wow. So it's, uh, thank you again, you guys, for your support. And uh, it's a privilege of, to, uh, to being here. Wow. Hey, that's so beautiful. I think those words, people pick them seriously. Uh, may I believe in action most of the time, and you have seen it. So, sir, I'm coming to you, and I would like maybe to thank you for supporting us. Thank you. And also tell us your experience here, where you come from, where are you coming from? Yes. My name is Hemem, simply called Mondi Maika. Mm -hmm. Yes. I am a blue hawk. When I came here yesterday, I'm from Nigeria, from Delta. Yes, and my other brother is here also, one of my best friends here. How did also. you know about this training? Yeah, I know about the training through my brother. He called me three days ago that, yes, something is going on, that I should not travel, that I have to be here. So immediately, I jumped inside the car. We drove down yesterday, and when we came here, we were blown off yesterday. What I'm seeing here, ah, it's mind-boggling. And this is the future, more to come. And all what we'll be seeing in internet, we'll see physically here. Wow. Okay. It's not photo shoot. It's no film trick. Yes, so we are here to pick our home. So have you learned in our training here, is there new things that you did know that you really got to understand from here? Yes, there's a lot of uh, learn process that we have learned from yesterday up to when I'm standing here also, I will still learn more. Wow, that's perfect. You lifted a goat. Yes. This is very good. Mm. Uh, how many kilos did you think? I, I think that's the reason why you're yes. even still sweating at this moment. Well, that's it. <laughs> uh, I, 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 will, did it. I, will, I will lift it again for you to say. Yes. Because uh, the goat, you said, is up to 200 kg, in it. Yes, but it's less than a year old. And it's less than a year old. When I lift it, I feel it. Because I believe most of us here, when we lift 50 bags of cement, I believe you sweat. So, chocolates of gold, <laughs> 200 kg. <laughs> and with meat. 
I know you will sweat. Oh, wow. So <laughs> I will do that example again yeah. for the viewers okay. to see. Okay. I'm a man. I don't want to see somebody dying now, but I think this goat. Actually, this goat is around one year. We've checked it. It's around one year or 14 months old. This guy was able to lift it. But I think it's around um, uh, probably 100 and something kilos. Probably. But when it grows up, you will see it. Sir, yeah. what's your name and where are you coming from? Yeah. Good morning, viewers. Uh, my name is Isaac Bowers. And all those goats, everybody's holding his goat. I came all the way from for. Kaduna State, Nigeria. Yes. Well, on reaching here about on Wednesday, I was with uh, Mr. White. We had a good time. We discussed about breathing. We How did you know about, about this training? Yeah, I, I, get, I got to know the training through a friend okay. on social media. So from there, I, I was fortunate to get Mr. White's contact. I contacted him about the training, which he affirmed to me that that's true, it's going to take place. So I left Kaduna to Lagos, from Lagos to Accra. Wow. So I met with uh, Mr. White, very fortunate for me, he happened to be a very calm, gentle, with full of hospitality and love. I was welcome. He moves around with me to show me what exactly is here. Well, I want to inform you viewers that this is a place to be. This is a place to visit. When you talk of Kalahari goats, when you talk of Boa goats, high quality, high genetics, this is a place to be. I've been in the business for years. I've been in cattle business, Kalahari business, uh, Boa goats business. I've done that of uh, ostrich business with Mr. Gary before. Yes. But finally, this is a home. This is a home to be. Yeah. I want to welcome all my partners yes. to connect, to come themselves through me or to, through this medium also to see things themselves. Wow. This is your back. Kalahari book wow. owned by me. Wow. I'm proud to show the whole world. <laughs> so, so, you're carrying a lot of yeah, spermatozoas this is, over. This is a lot of future a lot of investment yes though we're not really looking at the investment now we're looking at the future okay i've been with mr Hans online we've been chatting for years fortunately for me i'm here with him here <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect that's perfect so uh this is another moment that i want to encourage breeders all over the world or yeah. all over africa if you're opportuned to have a future like what some of us here have here, a future with determination. You can't do this business without a focus. If your mind is not in the business, don't make an attempt. This is a business that has to do with your mind, with yourself. Everything about you must be in this business for you to excel. Wow. Gold business has no limits. The sky is not even your limit, it's your starting point, but with determination. Wow. Not just discussions, not just noise, yes. with determination. Yes. This is the reality. Yes. And we're calling for everybody to come. If you are talking of pure genetics, talking of animals that you will see and respect nature, yeah. we have them available here. Wow. We're calling on our viewers all over the world, all over Africa, all over Ghana, all over Nigeria, to come. Let's hope together. Let's join hands together to move this platform to, a, to the next level. Wow. The next level is our destination. Wow. The next level is what we're aiming at. It's not just to come and show people the goats on social media and nothing else. No. We have a vision. We have a mission. We have a plan. And we want to achieve our desire as, as soon as possible by the grace of Almighty God. Amen. These are friends. This is Mr. Ha 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 Amis. I also am a, an active follower of his. I was also fortunate when I met him the day before yesterday. Yes. Thank you so very much. You're welcome. We also want to say that good business is something that everybody can come in. Be you a civil servant, be you a businessman, be you a politician. We need people to form a team. One person cannot achieve anything. Yeah. It's not something that one person can move alone. We need people to move together. We need, we need farmers, we need business people, 
We need politicians to come together. Mr. White happened to be very exceptional. We met him, we were all happy. We came from Nigeria, but he never showed that we're from Nigeria. He just embraced us and showed us love as if we are of the same order. Wow. Thank you so very much, sir. Thank God for having you. Want to appreciate everyone. Yes. Then, thank you all. Yeah. Wish you a happy day. Wow. Thank you so much for the words. I want to start dressing like you. Where do you do your... Okay. I think... Just meet. <laughs> Just contact me. Just contact me. Sir, yeah. you're welcome. Thank and this is the microphone. Uh, you. I like your name. Thank you. Where you're coming you from. Well, and the experience you've gone here. Okay. My name is Kolade. Yes. Uluwato in Fatai. Yes. I'm an Nigerian. So I came all the way from Lagos two days ago to visit the Obis farm. Okay. Though I haven't known uh, Mr. Y before, I only follow Amis because he's my mentor, he's my man. Wow. So I follow him every day, every night. I watch all his uh, YouTube channel. I learn more through him. So unfortunately, I got the, the contact of Mr. White about their program they were coming to do. Well, Though I missed you about five or six months ago when you were in Ghana, yes. which I was supposed to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> we have an arrangement that yes. okay, we are coming, we meet, yes. uh -huh. but I couldn't make it. I traveled again to another uh, country. So, so now, I need to ask you a question. Yeah. Um, you know, it's all about information exactly. and helping each other. Sure. Uh, we came up here, me and him, and even you guys, we've gotten food for free training for free how are you going to change your country as in to extend more information and help other people because this is money yeah no so what are you how are you planning yeah we are planning uh, we are going to do our best okay. to make sure everything is, is okay is okay okay so we can bring uh, uh, a lot of people in okay though we have a lot of farmers in nigeria okay but uh, you know most of the time the way they operate yes is different from uh other country okay okay i'm here now for this program yes sometimes i'll call a farmer of which we are on the same group in nigeria please yes. let me visit your farm let me see what you are doing there you also can visit mine let me yes. see what you are doing so we can have more knowledge yes oh well, tell me no 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 i'm not around you can't still come to which is not which which is not good yes so because a farmer we need to get close to ourselves each we other. need to learn yeah. every day from each other yeah i was here yesterday now i learned a lot of things yes of which i'm still going to learn more yes the, uh, in the next few months, I'm still coming to Uganda to, for more training. Yes. But I'm happy to be here today. Wow. Even the animal I'm seeing here, I'm very, very surprised. Wow. I'm very, very happy with it, with the genetics. Yes. Even the one I bought from a farmer in Nigeria, you can't compare. It's, it's totally down with this one I'm seeing here today. What are you wearing? What uh, is this? This is, this is my company name, King Solution Farmer and wow. Ally. Wow. Yes. I've learned one thing from you. Thank You've you. learned a lot from me. I've also learned one thing from you. Thank you love what you do. You love your company, yes. you promote your company. I also look at him. Whatever he's dressing up, he's dressing up. So guys, Africans, we are going to the right stream. But I want you to understand one thing. Love what you do, dress what you have. I, I don't see why I should put on Nike when I have her man more breeding farm. So I really love that. I want you to adopt it. You know, we are benchmarking South Africa. The South African cannot appear in your face without his brand. Yes. I love that, and I give you credit. You. I'll give you more time. I'll be in Nigeria no as soon as I'll possible. Be, I'll be you. So, yeah. let me just wish you the best, guys. You we love you so much. You. We are going to eat your money. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take